It's me. Oh, you. I want to talk. I was just about to look for you, Comrade Evgeny. I've found more details. Here. Trust me, they will ease your mind. More or less. Let's skip to the point. I want you to stop your research. What? Our exploration has only just started, yet many of our people have already been hurt. Can you promise there won't be further injuries or worse before we've found this fairy tale treasure? Your so called new resource is still unconfirmed, yet the price we've paid looking for it is already mounting. We had other options, safer options for all of us. We just need to be better prepared. We will arm ourselves with more knowledge for next time. I know what you're after here. The study of ley lines, right? The people here may be enthusiastic, but they are only laymen. I've spoken with someone who can help you far more. It is good to see you, Miss Vinsong. Our proud scholar of a budding, if still informal, school. And you, the big shot from Zeno. Should I feel flattered you stopped by? I read your files, as Mr. Evgeny suggested. You know already that Zeno has investigated many arcane cases and been deployed to many places related to Arcanum. But we have never met anyone quite as obsessive in their study as you are. What now? Have the big shots decided they are going to trust my studies? Well, while I might admire your perseverance myself, no, they're not convinced. We just wonder what you and your school have gained from this long journey. Enough with the crap. As you wish. First... I believe you owe Comrade Evgeny some thanks. Huh? The less than satisfactory results from your study may not have earned this letter from Zeno. But Comrade Evgeny insisted on us offering it to you. Once you have our recommendation, you will be able to communicate with all the renowned scholars in our lab. Your long wait for recognition will be over. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All I ask is, stop this farce. <laughs> Wow, I am so grateful. I think I might cry. All we have to do is wait for Zeno's grace to be bestowed on us. We should be moved to tears by your mercy, no? Putting aside your sarcasm, I would suggest you consider the danger of throwing away this opportunity. You are wasting time, effort. Maybe even lives on some foolish, vile goose chase. 
V can offer the people here a much safer and more feasible way forward. Don't you see? And what about Ryashki? All things come to an end. It will disappear quietly, overtaken by the wilds of this land. When the time comes. At least, it may leave a small place in the historical records. No offense intended, Mr. Evgeny. We cannot solve the problems we're having without Zeno's help. All of these problems will be solved, as long as we find this new resource. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Vinsonk. As far as Sino is concerned, the value of this land is exhausted, fairy tale resources notwithstanding. Once we've transferred the Arcanists away, Ryashki will be abandoned. We are aware of the danger that staying here poses to these people, and it is our responsibility to save them, whether they wish to resist us or not. That's the only reason for our decision. Understand? <sighs> Let's be practical. Sino has many outstanding young people, a strong academic atmosphere, a better future. You will get the opportunity to revive your school of ley lines if you pass the exam. Better choice for all of you. <laughs> Mr. Big Shot, could you use your rusted brain to think of a more noble reason than consumerism and elitism? Do you really think our desire for a better life is the only reason why we refuse to leave? You used ordinary people as a stepping stone to power and privilege. And even now, you take our sacrifices for granted. Reality is cruel. Not you, not Rayashki, and not even Sino can save everyone. You will have to deal with that. You should take what is to come as an inevitable optimization of our society's development. I know. Life may still get harder even if we find this new resource. So what? Your brand of elitism may have invaded every corner of the world, but not this town. Not yet. I see. Most scholars like you hold the same naivete. They refuse to leave any of their comrades behind even if the price is their own future. What we would sacrifice ourselves for is not the study of ley lines or any other personal goals, but our dream to thrive together, to live in a bright future we all can share. As for this, I don't need it. <sighs> A leper never changes its spots.
I envy your innocence, Miss Winslow. For many years, I believed that our mission was to change the world. But when I looked up, the gate to the new world was already closed. Little Ryashki just coasted along, and I tried to keep everything the way it was. But I failed. Ryashki is doomed. All our efforts, our will, our dreams, nothing can change the creeping reality. We attempted to achieve something meaningful, something that could make history, but... The spirit of the times stands against what we are building here. Not just Zeno, but the whole world. That's what reality is like. Boring, cruel, disappointing. You are too pessimistic, Comrade Evgeny. <laughs> Zeno has tried to recruit me several times. Do you know what I've learned from all their efforts? They don't want us to explore that mine. They belittled our efforts, offered pity for Ryashki, and then planned out a promising future for us. Yet they didn't give us a hand, even when our people were injured or died. Do you really think they are so eager to stop us just because they don't want any more sacrifices? <clears throat> of course not, my friend. A lesson I learned from living in their society. Never do what your enemies want you to do. Zeno is afraid of us. They are afraid that we may discover a new kindling to relight our fire. That we may burn so brightly that we grow out from their control to create our own future. You are... But they can't have it their way. Ryashki belongs to us, as does the future. I... I will give it some thought, Miss Wynn. Homer Winsome. 